Hi, I'm Erin from Cottage Designs by Erin, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful quilt behind me. This is called a bow tie quilt. It's made strictly from scraps, and it's definitely a beginner's project. You can make this project out of any series of scraps that you have lying around, and it only requires two pieces, a four and a half inch block and a two and a half inch block. So let's begin. Let me adjust my camera. Okay, you're going to have a large color piece and a large white piece. These are both four and a half inch blocks. And then you need one matching two and a half inch block. You're going to use a half square triangle technique on the two and a half inch block, which means that you're going to lay it face down into the corner, any corner of the white block. You would kind of like your white grain to go up and down. Okay, so we're going to sew that together. You're just going to sew it from corner to corner. Okay, so we're going to fold our little flap over our half square triangle and the block is going to look like this. This is then going to be butted up next to the pink block. So you're going to sew it like that. Okay. You can cut your squares out but manually with a scissors and a cardboard template like I did or if you prefer you can cut your pieces out with a rotary cutter either will be fine any kind of scraps that you have on hand will work and I'll show you what all I have in my quilt shortly okay so here is our first piece and it looks like that all right, now we're going to take our second half and do it the exact same way. We're going to have our white grain going from top to bottom. And we're going to put our little half square triangle in the corner so that our um, bow tie will then line up. All right, so we're going to put this face down. And again, sew it from corner to corner, and then flip it the ear over. I enjoy this quilt, not only because it's a scrappy, and those are my favorite, but I love the design aspect and color of this quilt because it's so much fun trying to figure out the placement and arrangement of everything. Okay, so we're going to then sew the big piece to the white piece. I also like to cut a bunch of these pieces out at once. You know, maybe cut out a hundred white pieces and then figure out which colors I want to use. All right, so now let's look at it. We have have it going across and diagonal like so. And you're going to put these pieces together and that's how you get the bow tie block. Okay, in order for this to match up perfectly in the center, you probably want your seams, one going one direction and one going the other direction. You 
can make this quilt as large or as small as you would like it. The one on my design wall, when it's finished, will be queen size. It just lacks about mm, maybe two or three more rows. Okay, so then you would press it nice and flat. And that would be your very first quilt piece. Okay, that's your bow tie. And let's see what size this block is because I've forgotten it. It's been too long. Looks like it's an eight inch block. All right, so when you get a bunch of these sewn together, you're going to then get them in placement order. And by that, you know, I mean you're going to have one each going in and one each facing out so that it looks like a big circle or one way to look at it as you could say it almost looks like a big wreath and then you sew these together and it makes a big giant block okay so now let me put the camera over on the design wall if you notice I started with pinks and purples so down towards the bottom, I have to keep this design aspect still going. So, for example, this is a burgundy. So I probably need something close to a burgundy print, but you don't want it to be too matchy-matchy or it'll, it'll blend in. There'll be no, no variation. Okay, so to finish this particular ring, I would put one of these up. I know it has to stain on it. It'll come out. And then you're going to put one I did purple so you would put this facing the other direction isn't this just the neatest design once you get that up there it looks like it's spinning and so then what you'll do is you'll sew your rows together um, I have quite a few rows done of this and I used every color under the sun because I had a lot of scraps as you can see if I had to do it over, I would make it more tonal so it would be easier to decide what goes where because when you're dealing with 50 different colors, it gets to really be a problem to make sure that everything flows, okay? So I have lots and lots of different types of materials in here, and I'll talk about that. This is all scraps, okay? This is a pique from a dress that was my daughter's when she was a little girl. This is a tartan plaid, which was a baby... Um, quilt that I made as a gift. This was an upholstery sample I was given. This is something my daughter picked out to have a doll dress made out of. Okay, and then these are all just regular, um, just scraps, random scraps that I had left over from different projects. There's a flannel up here that was a pair of old pajamas that I wore constantly that my daughter liked. So again, it you don't have to have a complicated quilt to make a beautiful quilt. You, it can be very easy. This is made of two pieces, but where the turning comes in and the movement and the color and the motion all depends on the placement of the block. So if you learned something from this video, I would like for you to subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will be uploading more videos with quilting in mind. Thank you. Have a great day.